JMO is a person I've seen leave comments on my channel before. I want to read what he wrote on what could have been. I'm done with the dating scene. It feels like I'm constantly told there's something wrong with me. Like I need to fix myself just to be worth someone's time. I've changed so much trying to fit into this mold of what people expect. But the more I try, the more I lose pieces of myself. I feel like I can't even breathe freely anymore without worrying that it's the wrong move, the wrong word, the wrong way to be. I used to want love. I used to dream about finding someone who saw me really saw me and loved me for everything I am, not everything I'm supposed to be. But now I just feel exhausted, tired of always feeling like I'm not good enough, tired of bending until I break, tired of begging for affection that never feels real. So I'm done. I'm walking away from it all. If that means I'll never find a wife, never have a girlfriend, never build a family, then I guess that's how it was meant to be. If my story ends without a partner or a legacy, I'm okay with that. I can't keep begging. You know, I've always said that I have no issue with men that just like come and vent about how irritating this stuff is. I think if more spaces were around for a guy to just, you know, extol their disappointment, frustration, annoyance for the uh, never ending arc of trying to appeal to one of the modern women, I think a lot more people would be better off if, if they just were able to at least have somewhere to speak without being attacked or demeaned. But to get into some of the specifics of what he wrote, the part about it feels like I'm constantly told there's something wrong with me. This reminds me of the coworker I mentioned who I, after taking him back to his place, uh, was really kind of crossed between disgusted and disturbed with some of the rhetoric of where he started to say that, you know, maybe if I had, and, and when, I, when I speak, I'm saying this from his his vantage point, maybe if I had my own car or my own dog or my own house, uh, I would be able to find a partner. And I, I, I was so annoyed by this um, because one of the problems with self-improvement, besides the fact that it's always men having to jump through a million hoops to make themselves more supposedly appealing to women, is that there's never a true point of content. The way this stuff works is that if you are not with a woman, then automatically you must be doing something wrong. You could go and talk to them in real life. You could go and talk to them online. You could have them laughing, grinning, giggling, chuckling. You could have them saying that they like speaking to you. All, all this stuff. But if you don't get that end result that you desire, then there must have been something that you did wrong. And that line, I feel like I can't even breathe freely anymore without worrying that it's the wrong move, the wrong word, the wrong way to be. This stuff never ends. Like, you see the way people attack me. They come and they talk about my voice or my dressing sense or my spectacles, you know, my fingers. I mean, it, it never stops. Everything you do, according to some random guy who, you know, in all likelihood has no, no proof that they've ever been with a woman um is wrong every, every move you make you have to go oh, this was incorrect because again if it doesn't yield the result that these guys think you're supposed to be receiving then you must be doing something wrong it's never anything wrong with the woman always something wrong with the man he says but now i just feel exhausted tired of always feeling like i'm not good enough and yeah i mean that that's why modern romances are so toxic because they entice a lot of guys to find it appealing to talk to a woman because they think they're going to get this end result that's decent or, you know, something that is at least similar to what they would like. As he mentions, wanting to, you know, find a wife, have a girlfriend, build a family. But when you are not able to get the woman to reciprocate interest in you, and this happens over and over and over again. And you have these 
random people who've in most cases never met you, barely know you, trying to assail you over the choices of someone else, it 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 can get extremely tiring and exhausting. Really, the only part of this that I'm not in alignment with him on is the if my story ends with a partner or a legacy. I don't I've said before, most people who actually do something of noteworthiness, even if they have children, tend to be known for the things that they did, not the person they created. Like many times their actual achievements will be the thing people talk about, not, oh, he had 12 kids. Of course, I can sympathize with having wanted a family. And, you know, this is actually a thing we've talked about before. Um, when I have in recent years had these different chicks online who will say, oh, you, uh, you know, I like you and I think we should uh, date or, you know, some kind of like supposed romantic desire. And I ask them either where do they live and it's another country or, you know, do you want to, you know, what, what are your long-term goals if you're so far away? Do you want to get married and have children? And they say no to those things or to one of those two things, usually to the part of wanting to have children. Well, it, it disincentivizes me from even wanting to participate in this because I truly don't see the point in having relationships with people that do not bestow upon you your desired result. Like, if you if I were to hypothetically, and we can wrap this up with this, date a woman who lived in another country who I cannot touch, who I cannot hang out with, who is against any long-term thing I want to do. She's not going to move to where I am. She's not going to fly over to come see me. She's not going to try to get married. It's like, okay, so what, what are we doing here? What, what is the point? But yeah, I, I sympathize with this comment. And you know, I've always said, if anyone wants to write a comment, so long as it's just, you know, venting like, hey, this is this is so lame. I talked to this person and I wasted this time because I even mentioned that um, when I did my waste of time stream a few a few days ago, that was after speaking to some uh, another wonderful, lovely discord woman uh, who after sitting in a VC with me for an hour and a half tells me that she doesn't like VCs, says she doesn't want to do them anymore, says, oh, but I'll I'll send you a message later and then block me. <laughs> It never ends with these bastards, but the the only way to make it end is to just not talk to them anymore, which if he doesn't want to do that anymore, I understand. And even if you disagreed with it, it really is no one's damn business if he doesn't want to keep dipping his toe into this pot of snakes.